Right, this is going to be the final um, video I do now on the matter of the person responsible for a lot of these videos. I am not going to be doing any more of these, but you know, if it comes to it, if people are talking to me about the problem of narcissism, I will carry on doing the videos, um, trying to help people. This is to give more of an insight into why I was doing the videos and hopefully you can understand by the characterizations that I am letting go of here you know is my way of dealing with things now my ex she told me that she's working in a massage parlor where she used to give hand relief to men you know and she's done this with her friend Vicky you know this woman I have never met in the three years She'd always come round when I was not there, or she'd always go out for coffee if I was there with her and never invite me. So it always made me think she may be back on the game. Um, she also used to go to a sex club um, called Palms with her ex called Matt, where they used to go into hot tubs um, where other people were having sex or into a room where you could leave a door open and people could join you. I told her that this was not me and it, that's in her past and that we can move forward from this with honesty towards each other. After a while I moved in and everything was fine, um, as I knew. Yeah, over the three years, she waited, I never got to meet her friend Vicky and that would always visit my ex when I was not there. So this caused me to doubt her honesty on whether or not she had gone back on the game. I took on her daughter, who was amazing, and even considered calling, she even you know, considered calling me her own stepfather, as her own father never gave her the love and support that I gave her. I then hired a van and helped her move from her past house to a new home. The house we moved in, into was in dire need of renovating, um, it's filthy, you know, it needed decorating. So I sat there and I cleaned it. I, well, I helped clean it with one of my friends um, and I decorated there. Um, I was decorating it because this was to be our home, or so I thought. I even went to parent evenings um, with her daughter as her biological father could never be bothered and me and the daughter bonded so well, and she was like a daughter to me. Now, what another thing my ex used to do was she used to hide all of her friends on Facebook. I know, I know this was because she was adding men from all, all over the world who had fit bodies, and that she was sending and receiving illicit pictures she had on an app on her phone that stored all these pictures that were password protected. I got into this app one day, there were hundreds of pictures and videos of different men in sexual gratification scenarios. Also loads of her illicit pictures and videos that I had never seen before. She also had an app where you can print cheap pictures. Um, when, but when a large pack came to her home, she opened up, there was like a thousand pictures in there. In that pack was three pictures of her daughter, one picture of me and the rest of all of her selfies. Whilst we were seeing each other, but no longer living uh, together, apart from the weekends when she just wanted sex, um, she went to Spain again without her daughter. So when she was in Spain, I kept wondering, why aren't you taking your daughter every time you go? Are you up to something? Um, but on this one occasion, my car broke down uh, on the way home from work. Now, I was quite local to her home. And I phoned her and just said, would it be okay to come to yours as it won't cost me nothing to get there um, with the recovery? Or it will cost me £170 to get back to Essex. So she said, no, I us go home. So I thought, well, this is proving her to be the person I think she is. So from that point on, I got picked up at five in the afternoon by the OAC, taken to South Mims, and I stayed there 
in the dark, in the cold, with no battery power on my car until 8 o'clock the following morning, all because she would not allow me to go back to her place to save a bit of money. After we split though, I did try to make friends, mainly because I was worried about her daughter's well-being. After the poor child who had so many men in her life that had been ripped away, um, that was mainly caused by her, nar her mother's narcissistic nature. We actually split on the 23rd of December after I'd visited and put my Christmas decorations up that I'd accumulated over the years with three decorations that marked memories of my own children. She had since told me that she threw all of my decorations away when I said I was finally able to come and pick them up. I also found out that although we had finished on the 23rd of December, she had made plans to go up to Limited Spa to score another sex conquest with an online friend and even took her daughter along that this proved that her heart was black to me. Over the years she has added and deleted me many times on WhatsApp and Facebook just to come back on to mock me and cause trouble. For example, messaging and becoming friends with my exes who she mocked and called ugly when we were together. She has also told me that since the year that we parted she has had at least six other men in her bed. This was obviously said in a way to hurt me but in truth it just proved her true character to me. Once a whore, always a whore. To give an honest idea of this woman, she likes to openly burp loudly and pass wing loudly all the time and thinks it's funny. I think it's disgusting and I always told her so. Also, a lesson that I should have learnt from the very start that I failed in is that every, every single picture that she posts on any internet site is not a true reflection of how she truly looks. Each picture has to go through so much editing to iron out her wrinkles and lines. She then uses a makeup app that alters the shape of her features and adds lip colour and shape and plays with her eyes. To sort, uh, this sort of woman is a predator and should never be trusted. Not all that shines is a true gem. I hope you can get help from my videos. I don't mean to offend anyone, I'm just pointing out the problems that happened at first hand.